So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Irene, the host on this channel. If you're coming here for the first time, thank you. Please consider subscribing. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always coming back to support my videos. I love you guys. Well, in today's episode, I'm doing uh, something a bit different. As you can see my setting, I'm in a salon. And this salon is run by a friend of mine. She's Oh, okay, she will tell us her names later. And the salon name is Sterling. It's born, located in Morita District here in Uganda. And I thought she's really doing a good job. She should uh, like share her story with us to inspire other young girls out there who are going through difficult times and they are hoping to start a business just to encourage them. So. Without wasting any further time, let me introduce her. Let me let her introduce herself. You're welcome to my channel. You can tell our viewers your names and yeah, what you Okay, thank you, Madam Irene. Actually, that girl, Irene. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my name is Nyapono Mary Patricia, the owner of Sterling Beauty Salon. Okay. Well, as our guest has told us, she is Patricia and so, Patricia, can you tell us, how did you get this dream of starting your own salon or did it just start from nowhere or did your mom own a salon? Yeah, like what, what motivated you to start a salon or how did you start it? Just tell us. Wow. Salon has not been in my dreams before. Okay. Because for me, Actually, let me see. What are you? What made me to do salon? When I was in P P three P four, I used to see people pledge, and I admired what they did. That was in the village, and those were young kids who used to play. And there was a small grass that was called the ginger grass. So you used to like learn how to play it on that ginger grass? That ginger grass, they are used to learn how to play it and that was Kiswahili, that people call Kondros. Okay. That is what I learned how to play. Now, when I continued studying, like, with that one I started in around P4, P5, P6, P7. You were around like 8, 10, I don't know, 14 years. Mm -hmm. In P3. I don't know, okay. Maybe that's yeah, like 9 years. 9 years. Yeah. So when I reached uh, P7, I continued. That's when I really learned. Now I started now plating the young kids at home. At home. I plated them well. So like now, how did you end up having this big place? Did you just come? Did you have the money? Did someone fund you? Like, you want to know the basics of where you started from. So that anyone out there who wants to start a business, they should know maybe. Like, you don't just start big or you don't start out of nowhere. When you have the talent, you don't need to start big as long as you have the talent. For me, when I came to Moroto, I just, I was plating in someone's salon just to add in the knowledge. Maybe people call it internship. For me, it was like an internship. Then I remained with my knowledge and skills. So later on, I started a mobile salon. I moved from door to door. I left the salon. Where you were working at? So I started getting door to door. Or sometimes you come to my home. And I played you. They started appreciating the work is nice, work is nice. But they kept on. They, they could now became networking. The other one, I chose the other friend. one, the other one chose a friend, they started coming. So I gathered my money. I could even make brides. Like, uh, you do the I do the bride's hair, hair for wedding cheaply at affordable price because, because I, you just I was just starting mm -hmm. and uh, I didn't want to overcharge, you overcharge people. You need to first get customers, yeah. attract them to you, yes. stuff like that. Yes, yeah. so that is how you accumulated capital. I accumulated capital and the capital was not so big, just smaller one. Then I made my container. I made the container. I just started, I need to have even the carpet, the chairs. Since the skill is in me, I call the client, I plate, 
I do the money, then the very money mm -hmm. that I get, I keep and I buy what? So if there is anybody out there who happens to watch this interview and you want to start a business, you heard what she said, she didn't just start from this big place, she was first working for someone. But the important key is saving the little money that you work for and don't lose track. She had a talent in plating, so like um, people like to put other jobs down or way low them down, just don't laugh at anything you do. If you know how to play hair, do it. If you're good at uh, being uh, men's haircuts, I think it's a nice thing to do. We have learned a lot during this corona. I personally have learned a lot. And I think the best thing you can do for yourself is a business. Like today I'm here with my friend Patricia. I believe she's a better person than she was those days when she was working for someone. Just the skills that kept so what kept motivating you to always keep going now that you have a really big place here? what's that one thing that you'd cling on you did you have go you have goals you have things that you feel you want to reach at? i didn't want to end there i wanted like uh, also to keep growing not to remain like in one level so that I saw it like something which is very easy to do like if you want to do something it has to be passion you have to have the passion you have to be willing you have to have the passion because when you don't have it even if you have the skill you may not love to do that thing so me I just love salon work I love to do it and that is why I ended up continuing to do and I also like encouraging young girls who are still there because even now in the lockdown there are no schools yeah, if you have the skills home. not only the salon but any other skill you keep growing that skill by practicing it so that is why i ended up being the best big place yeah because i love it wow that is good so guys you need to have skill passion and you need to i think have a goal or vision of what you want to be because if you didn't have a vision of either having a bigger place running her own place i don't think she'd be owning this big place and i i hope you guys are picking things from her story and inspiring other guys out there like don't give up on your dreams don't give up on your talent now that we are at home and by the way, she teaches girls how to plate. You don't need even to know how to plate. I think you, I think you can learn some things. Yes. And I don't think you charge a lot of money for I people to... I don't charge to... them a lot of money. Some of them, they don't even pay. They just ah. come and they continue. So if you are around, more lot of these come, come around. Come and do your hair. Come and learn how to plate if you want to learn how to plate. <laughs> And I hope you guys are really learning from her story. Me personally, I was inspired by her story. That's why I thought to share it today. And let's have a salon tour to see what she has to offer in her salon, basically. So let's take us around and we see. On this side, I can see. These are the wigs. I really what is this? Okay. Yeah, you can see. These are the wigs that you make. They are they are, they are different. Some are long, some are short. These are just the talent also that we have making of the wigs. If you can't learn how to plate, you can learn how to do wigs sometimes, and we sell them to make money. Okay. So these are the relaxers, like on the side of cosmetics. <laughs> These are still the hair things that we sell. The hair bonnet. The hair bonnet. You can pick one. Okay. You can even try one. <laughs> wow. It is looking nice. Yeah, guys, I think I look good. Yeah. What do you think? Uh -huh. So, this one goes for how much? Because I think I would want to. Work this one is 15000 Okay. So if you're in Moroto, please come and pick a hair bonnet for yourself. It's only fifteen thousand, and look good this Christmas. <laughs> okay, I see this uh, braids. Uh, these are braids. For, some of them are crocheted, like those ones are crocheted. Okay. And weaves all. So here you do crochet. You do. 
weaving, you do braiding, basically any type of hair. Any type of hair, yeah. someone wants. Mm -hmm. I see also a fridge here, we so you do some good Manicure, well. pedicure. <laughs> We have also drinks for our customers to keep the customers safe in one place, no movements. We have our entertainment screen, the TV. Yeah, so in case you're thirsty at the salon, you can always just get a drink. Let's support our sister here. She has an entertainment TV. And I can see there are some clients doing their hair. You come and tell what this one is doing here. Wow. She's creating crochets. So they're still making this work for the crochet. Anyone who wants to see the finishing? I think I'll stick around until we see how her finishing look looks like. So guys, remember to come and support her whenever you're in Moroto. And I hope the pastor will inspire you guys out there. And remember to subscribe to our channel for more nice videos and like the video. Bye. I love you all.